Welcome, friends, to the Soul Talk podcast, a show where we explore and uncover the path to the heart, amplifying your conscience. Join me as we meet incredible souls who are in this journey and learn from their experience and different methods that will make you vibrate your heart. Let's get into it. Hi, everyone. This is Monica Ramirez, Warrior of Love, and we're in Soul Talk. And I would like to talk to you about Kundalini today. Well, Kundalini, it is a, it's an energy, it's a feminine energy that we all have. And let me explain you a little bit more about it because I bet you have felt it many times and you're going into the process of probably you're already um, passing through that or in this moment is waking up. And you're going to recognize some of the symptoms that we're going to be talking about of the Kundalini and what to do with it. And well, like I was mentioning, it's a feminine, uh, it's a feminine energy that it is that we're creating. It is our evolutionary force where we have the infinite uh, wisdom that comes from the same source, but eradicates in each human being as a, as, as like a snake and it's called three times in our coccyx, it is in our base of our spine. It is connected to all our bodies that we at the same time we have and along as our chakras and our meridians. So if we work with our chakras, it is awesome, but they have all different symptoms, this one. It is involved with everything at the same time. Like you, uh, number one, you have felt emotional recognition and your process of, of always think, uh, and you start thinking in your past experience that you miss and you feel that sadness and you feel like a mourning uh, part that you've been continue going and going and going and going. Why these uh, things happen, how we happen. And many of us were in that process in this moment too. You start unpacking all the years of repress, of repressed energy and all the blocks at the same time, You're spending a lot of time of thinking about your past. What happened? What did you wish you were different? I have many times I have passed through this, uh, through, through these emotions where I wish my life was different, that I have not made the same choices that I did in the past, but I did it. Three. You feel the same time physical symptoms when you're waking up at random times at night. I don't know. I, you have experienced this at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, but you're sweating at the same time you're crying or you're even literally feeling an intense surge of energy going up, up, up your body, in all your spine. And you don't even know what is happening to you. Probably the Kundalini for. You're feeling suddenly the need to make radical changes in your life. You let go jobs, you let go relationships, friends. You start, uh, you that is, you start dieting in a different way. And most of anything, uh, you realize what doesn't work anymore for you. I did this to heal myself when I have lupus, RA, and fibromyalgia, like I, many of you already know. I did all these changes because. I wanted to heal myself and I thought this, my past life doesn't work anymore. So I was needed to go through this process and I used the excuse to, I was, I was trying to heal myself. I was trying to heal myself, but also the Kundalini was waking up in me. So I was needing to let go all that, all that junk, like I put it like that in that time. You became, uh, you be, uh five, you become aware but in your mind. That's the only force that prevents you to, to be, your mind is being your own enemy. It is being your thoughts. You have put attention to all those thoughts that have prevented you to be happy. Your ego had to keep, uh, have keep you trapped, uh, trapped in, in, in that, in that state and have prepared you for the worst and the pessimist state. So you cannot go and actually, uh, transform, but you become aware of your own thoughts and your own emotions, finally. And you start living now, instead of in the past, now you start living in the present. 
Because remember, it's a process. First, you start with the past, and you're dwelling in the past, and you're feeling mourning in the past. But now, in the in the fifth process of the Kundalini awakening, it is now you're starting to become in the present moment. Six, you start realizing that everything is a synchronicity. Things that start appearing in your life, doors start opening for you. Problems that you don't know how to solve, finally they're getting resolved now. But you are becoming also aware of that. Seven, you become the empathetic skills are getting strength. Now you start thinking what the other person is feeling. What the other person is, uh, how I can help someone else. You start experiencing uh, more of of helping others at the same time. And your third eye is start opening at the same time because now your intuition is starting to work better. To become familiar more into true nature, your own connection with the same source. Eight, you feel a strong need to be outdoor. You have, you want to connect, you want to ground, you want to connect with the trees, with the flowers, with the air, with the wind, with everything around you. Nine, you have an order uh, in your life that was possible. Uh, how do I put it like this? You have an order in your life as many ways as possible, broken relationships, the disorder in your home, the whole habits, habits that you have. Everything has to go away. Whatever doesn't help you or serve you anymore, you just want to let it go. It doesn't matter if you have to let go of a relationship that is being married for 20, 30 years. It might happen in this moment. Ten, beginning to be seriously questioning everything that exists in your system is structures, like religion, like politics, like tradition. Everything that do not, you start questioning everything that doesn't resonate anymore inside of you. You're going to see the selfish part, the egoistic part, what it helps you, what it helps the collective at the same time, because this time now you're thinking in the collective. You start identifying the, the fundamentals, what helps the human beings, the politics, the schooling, religion. That's a, was a strong one for me. You're experiencing random influxes of emotions. You're actually dealing with the old feelings that it was never addressed. Things that you were pushing down because you didn't want to deal with that before. Now, finally, are coming again. But this time, you're you're actually working with them. Eleven. You start having the need to serve others, dedicating your life to helping others. You have that sense that you want to help. You want to change the world. Twelve. You'll be feeling angry for who you were. You start judging yourself very hard for the things that you did not face before, that you are not, that you did not become responsible before your own actions and thoughts, like things that you did. But at the same time, a little bit time pass, you start accepting, accept that you acted with information that you had in that moment and you start forgiving yourself. And you start seeing that as a lesson. And then you understand that that was part of your journey to become the person that you are now. 13. Life never happened to you. It was, it was happening for you. Now bringing, you are start bringing out into the world precisely what you were needing to be receiving. 14. It's a, uh, this is a more mystical part of connection with the divine. You see yourself as a God, but you also see every single human being as God in all the human beings, in everything. And you can see it and feel it in everything that surrounds you. So don't worry about your ego because we are all the same and we're all one at the same time. 15. You can't wait any longer to start living because finally you realize that you were not living before, but this time you're living now. And life is happening for you in this moment. 
not in the past and not in the future. It's just in this moment. And I would recommend you to do one exercise that it will help me tremendously. I want you to do to look into each chakra and write it down in your journal. And what do you feel in each one of them? And if you want to know about more about chakras, I will do a video about chakras too. But start looking into, start writing down what do you feel in your root chakra, in your first chakra, in your second chakra, in your third chakra. And you know, and we will be talking about the, the, the chakras in the other video. This is about Kundalini. But write, start writing down about uh, what do you feel in each one and describe how you sense them. If there is a story that is in that moment is popping into your head, well, write it down. It might be uh, related to 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 the same Kundalini. If you want to know more about um, like how to deal with the Kundalini emotions and so forth, because there is going to be very emotional, because you're going to be you can get stuck if you don't forget yourself if you are too judgmental of yourself, because now. You're going to realize what things that you wanted to change. It didn't change. If we didn't have the perfect family, not many of us would have that perfect family. It says, why do I have to leave that? Don't get stuck in there. Move forward. Let it go. Remember, you became now the person who you are now. Thanks for everything that you have lived before. There were just lessons. And you acted with information that you had in that moment. That's why I would never want it to be 21 again. <laughs> because I, if I was 21 again, I would have, I would love to have the information that I have now when I was 21. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to be, uh, teaching a program activating your multidimensional energy in September 22nd. Registrations are open if you're interested. And then we're going to be talking about this and many other themes that we're, we're going to be talking later on. And you can book a discovery call with me for free if you have any questions about it. This is Monica Ramirez, the warrior of love. And I'm here to serve. And I'm here to help. And I can feel you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.